Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to apply some rub on transfers to a tumbler. Now, we had a really beautiful pack of rub on transfers just come out with Southern Bell glitter. I know that there's going to be lots of questions of them, so I thought I would do an instructional tutorial to show you how to apply them to your epoxied surface. I'm starting out with a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia and I have painted it Vintage Blush by Rust Oleum because I wanted a vintage pink base. I'm using one to two milliliters of Artistry's one to one ratio facet epoxy and just spreading that all over super thin and then dabbing all over to even out and give it a little bit of texture so you will not be able to see any streaks in my glitter. And then we're going in with Heart Happy from PDB Creative Studio. This is a gorgeous opal mix. It's going to give this a lot of sparkle all while allowing that blush pink to show through. I'm just going to get the whole cup covered and once I do, I'm going to roll it in my printer paper flatten that glitter out really well so that I can minimize the amount of epoxy I have to put on top of this to get it smooth. I'm going to allow it to dry for about 30 to 45 minutes with the Artistry 1 to 1 Ratio Fast Set and then go in with two coats of epoxy so I have a smooth glossy surface to apply my transfers to. A while back, I collabed with Southern Belle to create two rub-on transfer sheets, and this time, we actually did six sheets in one pack. Each of these sheets are 8.5 by 11 inches, so you can get one to multiple tumblers out of each sheet, depending on what size tumbler that you use. When I am designing these sheets, I create a mock-up using some of the images from each of them so that I can assure that it is at least going to fit a 20 to 24 ounce tumbler perfectly and be universal for most of the other sizes as well. I felt like this silvery blue sheet of florals really matched this blush pink perfect. There's a little hint of that blush pink inside of some of these flowers. So we're going to go through the sheet, cut out the transfers that we're going to use. And actually I went through the whole sheet and cut them all out so that I could just easily pick and choose from the ones that I wanted to use on this tumbler. For this first one, I'm going to show you how I apply in real time. So once you have your transfer trimmed out and you know exactly where you want to place it, you're going to remove that backing and then you want to put some tension on either side of it as you are applying it down. So start in the center and then flatten it on either side so that you can help eliminate any bubbles or wrinkles. There is a popsicle stick that comes in each of these packs and you're going to just rub that all over your transfer to assure that it is really stuck down to your tumbler or your epoxy surface whatever you may be working with once i have went all over with that popsicle stick i'm going to grab one corner of it and you just saw me point the opposite way you're going to pull just a tiny bit of tension not a lot but kind of pull it taut in the opposite direction that you are pulling while holding on to the other side. Once you have that sheet off, you can take a microfiber cloth and rub gently over the top of it to ensure that there aren't any air bubbles underneath. If there are, you can take a craft knife or a needle and pop a teeny tiny hole in there and gently press that out by putting that piece of acetate back onto, which is the clear piece back onto your transfer and then gently rubbing on top with your popsicle stick. You want to avoid touching the decal portion of these transfers because they're super sticky so they do stick to your tumbler so they will stick to your hands too and it will remove the image from that acetate sheet. 
and you want to make sure that you are putting these on a very smooth surface. If there's any like little bumps or lumps in your epoxied surface, then it will not allow the transfer to completely attach to that area. So if there's a little bump or a piece of lint that may have got into your epoxy or your glitter is not sanded down all the way, it can cause the transfer not to stick in the areas around that spot. So whenever you lift that acetate sheet off, it may lift some of the transfer off as well. So make sure that you're putting it on a smooth and glossy surface. It's also a really good idea if you have handled your tumbler a lot before putting on these transfers to just wash it in some dish soap to remove any oils that may be on the surface so that you can assure that you're getting a good adhesion with your transfers. I know that I have said glossy surface a lot already in this tutorial, but we're going to talk about that a little bit more because I have saw a lot of posts in the past asking if you can put these on a non-epoxied surface, meaning just put them straight on top of spray paint, or if you can put them on top of a sanded surface. I've saw a lot of mixed answers, and y'all know that I stress about providing quality product to your customers. You don't want to cut corners or skip a step just to make the process faster. So the answer to both of those questions, can you put it on top of just a spray painted surface or can you put it on top of a sanded surface is no. Because whatever is underneath the clear portion of these transfers is going to show whenever you put epoxy on top. If you put epoxy on top of a glossy surface and you have this clear bordered transfer in between, everything that is clear on this transfer is going to disappear. If you put it on top of a sanded or a matte surface or something that is just spray painted, you're not going to have that layer of clear in between. So it's going to show the edges of your transfers and if it's sanded, it's going to show those sand marks underneath those clear portions of your transfer. Once you apply these, they are stuck. So you can't remove them and reposition them once you have them down. And I was talking as I was applying that larger one above the area I'm working on now, but I did trim off a little portion of it because I realized that I was going to overlap another one of the transfers, which is fine. But in this case, I wanted some space in between each of these little floral clusters. So I took a piece of that protective layer that is on the back and popped it underneath one side of the transfer so that I can trim off the portion that was going to overlap. And then I finished pressing that down. You can very, very easily trim these. You just wanna make sure that you do have that protective backing on there when you do try to trim them. Otherwise, the transfer is gonna to stick to your scissors and it will damage it. Now, if you put one of these on whatever project that you're working on and you really do not like the placement and you want to completely remove it, or if by chance one of them got damaged as you were applying, you can remove these by using some alcohol or acetone and just rubbing in the area that it is at until it is fully removed. Just make sure that you finish that off with some alcohol to wipe that surface clean where you remove the residue and get it very dry before you try to apply another one of your transfers.
after I have all of my transfers applied, I can either go over with Quick Seal from Artistry Epoxy, which is a polyurethane coating, or you can go over them with a matte clear coat of spray paint. This is not necessary in some cases, but some epoxies can repel from these in areas. So for me, it's better to seal than be sorry. And you do want to make sure you apply a layer of epoxy in between your rub-on transfers and any decal that you may add onto your tumbler. We're not finishing this one off with a decal in this tutorial. I wanted to focus it solely around applying these transfers and some of the do's and don'ts so that it will set you up for success whenever you are applying them to your projects. These transfers are so fun to use and they're beautiful. I mean, the color is so vibrant on them and it looks like it has just been printed on your tumbler. This bundle is still available at southernbellglitter.com and you can use code BRITTANY10 to save 10% off of your entire Southern Bell Glitter order. Susanna Renaud is another incredibly talented creator and she has some beautiful transfers as well, so be on the lookout for those on the Southern Bell Glitter website. If you have any questions that I may not have went over, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will answer them as quickly as possible. All other materials that I have used will be listed down in the description as well as some coupon codes for y'all. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and we'll see you next time.